Welcome to Insights Live. I'm Rebecca Selby and I'm joined by George Trudell from Ultra Consultants. How are you doing, George? I'm great, how are you? I'm well, thank you. I wanted to talk to you today about what is happening in distribution. Sure. Amazon is shaking up the industry. Tell me what's going on. Sure, yeah, you know, it's amazing. What Amazon's really doing is they're taking on the big players. They're taking on Google. They're taking on, with Echo, their mm -hmm. new product. They're taking on um, Alibaba, of course. That's one of their big competitors. But what they're also doing is they're changing the way we need to operate as distributors. So as distributors, we really need to look at how do we compete with them in the Amazon experience. You know, we're all used to logging on and that amazing experience as a customer of Amazon. So that's what we need to compete with. So you're saying that customers are expecting to get things immediately, completely seamless experience. They want it now and they want it to be perfect. Is that a right? Absolutely. We want everything. We want what we want. We want it now and we want it whenever we can get it. Right? So that's, that's the experience that we expect. For a company today, a distributor though, we don't want to give up. Right? Right. So how do we compete? There's four areas that we've talked about where you can compete. One is obviously the e-commerce experience. Mm -hmm. The second one is try to do what Amazon's doing and offer more products through third parties. So we don't have to buy and own everything ourselves. Mm -hmm. The third thing we talked about is forecasting and planning and how can you plan better? Because Amazon is this great AI, so we have to compete with them there. Mm -hmm. And the last thing is let's just do everything we can inside our own four walls with our operations and in the warehouse. So those are kind of the four areas that we're seeing how to stay with it, how to compete with Amazon. So for distributors who are out there who may not feel equipped to do all of those things, what should they do? Just shut their doors right now? <laughs> well, so the fun part is it still it comes back to technology, mm -hmm. right? So how can I leverage the technology to implement what we call best practices in those areas? So it gets back to technology. Invest in your technology. Make sure your team and your staff is there and ready to take it on. If you had one word of advice for someone who just wants to get started, what would it be? Um, I'd start by looking at your organization. So first step is really be serious about who you are and create a small project to go back and look at your organization and then start breaking it down to say, what do I do today and what do I want to do tomorrow? And that's your driving, that's your driving force. That's what you're going to do. Sounds great. Thanks for your insight, George. I appreciate sure. it. Thank if, you. Anytime. If you have questions about what we've talked about today, please visit epicor.com.